Hi guys, I'm Susanna. I'm a digital nomad and currently I'm in Nepal. Um, we're opening a really cool restaurant, Urban Press. And for that we're really busy with creating new recipes, smoothie bowls. Uh, so I thought for today it's nice to create two different smoothie bowls. But it would be really boring to do this alone. So I'm really glad that I have a really cool guest. So let me introduce Silpa. Hi Susanna. Hi, how are you? Very good. Nice. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. So tell me this a little bit about yourself. So I'm Shilpa. Uh, professionally, I'm an actor, and uh, currently based in Nepal. I'm working here, and I love food. <laughs> That's good. So what are we making today? Today, I was thinking to create two different kinds of smoothie bowls. Mm -hmm. uh, one with cashew and one with berries. I really hope you like strawberries. And yeah, berries. I like berries. <laughs> Um, what we need is we need frozen banana. Okay, that's gonna be the base. So the base, how we make the smoothie bowl is gonna be frozen banana. I already put some banana in the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna make the banana one or yeah. the berries. One? Well, we're gonna make it together. Together. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just <laughs> take it easy. All right. No rush. Uh, so let's start with the first one. We're gonna do it with soy milk. Okay. Do you ever drink soy milk or yeah, soy I do. Milk? I've recently switched to soy milk because uh, I think I have a little bit tolerance to lactose. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so I I've have been, the same actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been trying, and I have really bad uh, uh, skin problems. I had people with acne, so I have yeah. my doctor recommended to avoid some milk for a while. So I choose to soy milk. Oh well, good thing <laughs> we have this today. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna make uh, cashew butter as well. I soaked the cashews mm -hmm. for 24 hours, and it's pretty easy to make. You just blend it with a little bit of hot water yeah. in a blender and. If you do that, then you get this nice cream. Mm. <laughs> this looks really nice. Yeah. It smells good. So it's, it's a really nice structure as well. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just use a spoon for the smoothie. Yeah. Uh, banana, frozen banana. And I think maybe for this one it's also nice to put a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. So we're just gonna get the blender, just start with the base really easy. And as the garnish, I think maybe it's nice to top it up with a little bit of granola, maybe banana. So maybe if you want to cut a banana sure. what in slices. Sure. So we're going to like small ones? Yeah, <laughs> just small, just whatever you think is nice. see my uh, skills. <laughs> now, you know, I played uh, as a chef in my first movie. Yeah. And uh, I was quite nervous with the knives. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna add with the frozen one. banana. Sure. Uh, it's one banana, and I prepared some more just in case we need more. Mm -hmm. So you add frozen bananas with the pressed ones. Yeah. This is actually for the topping, but sometimes I also use it in in the in the base. It depends a little. Some bananas you can make really nice cream with it, but sometimes it doesn't really work. So I'm more a chef. I just play a little bit of feeling. <laughs> I think that works too. I think yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of granola for the bite. Uh, open it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Fine. Maybe you can add a little bit of cinnamon. Sure. I think that would be nice. So this is going to be the base okay. and this is what I'm going to blend and I was thinking for the topping maybe you can get already some coconut flakes. Okay. So for the toppings we have bananas and coconut flakes, right? Yeah, I think and maybe we can add some chai seeds. Chai seeds are those. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like to use them. They have lots of fiber, mm -hmm. lots of omega-3. Um, it's really easy. I mean, yeah. you just put it on. You can see the consistency is now a bit thicker. Yeah. And of course, there's not really a way how to do it perfectly. Some people like rounding more, some people like thicker more. I personally like it when it's a little bit thicker, when I just have the oh, feeling right. that I like ice that I eat ice cream. Okay. As a little treat. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be our base. Okay. So I'm gonna pour it in this one. Mm -hmm. So do you have a favorite fruit? Normal? Fruit? Yeah. 
Um, I think my favorite is mango. Mango? Yeah, but it's quite seasonal. Uh, so I was okay. thinking, for the smoothie bowl, we can fit the banana there. Sure. Then you can help. So how do I do it? Is there any rule? There's no any rule. I would just make a line, a nice line. Okay. Maybe like this. You can just put okay. a couple layers. Yeah, you can finish that one. It will be nice. Yeah. We just play a little bit. Add some coconut as well. And maybe we can add some cinnamon. Yes. So just sprinkle it. Yeah, just everywhere. sprinkle it. Yeah, just sprinkle it. And a little bit of cashew butter on the side. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Let's add some chia seeds. So this is the smoothie bowl. Mm. It's really simple, really basic. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah. So are, are we gonna try all two yeah. together? Or no, I think just let's try this one. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, I really like to have breakfast with like a smoothie bowl like this, especially in the summer. Mm. I really like it. It really tastes really banana. Good. I want to see with banana. With the fresh ones. I really like that it has a crunch of the granola. Yeah. And the coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it goes nice. really well. Yeah, I think this one worked out pretty good. The best breakfast I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I skip breakfast so much. Yeah, yeah. But I can imagine if you're working a lot on set, yeah. but sometimes you have to wake up probably really early as well. Yeah. So this usually takes like 15 minutes, 10 minutes to make. To make, yeah. What I normally do is I just put bananas in the freeze. So I always have some bananas in the freeze. And then as you can see, you just put it in a blender with a little soy milk. Yeah. The next version we're going to make is just with a little bit of berries. And then just really simple, put it in the fridge, top it off and done. Okay. So it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes actually. Our yeah. second smoothie bowl, mm -hmm. I was thinking it's going to be a berry version. Okay. And I was thinking maybe you can make it. Why not? I'm gonna help you. Sure. Uh, so we're gonna use the blender as okay. well, and you can add frozen banana. All right. So the base is same. The it's base is the same. Banana. Yeah. So um, so frozen bananas are the key element. Yeah. To good exactly. Smoothies. Yeah. So just before you go to bed in the night, just put some frozen yeah. banana in the fridge, and the next morning you can make this pretty easy. So so that it's all you. Yeah. Or just I would go for all. No, I think it will be fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, for this smoothie bowl, um, we're really gonna do a berry one. So I think maybe it's nice to also go for some fresh strawberries. Yes. Strawberries, okay. Um, we can cut them together. And I also put some fruits in the freeze. How many uh, strawberries? We can use a little bit of this as well. These are frozen raspberries. Okay. So how many strawberries would you recommend? Or an edge? Um, like just a handful good. maybe, that's okay. nice. Just, yeah, I just love maybe five. Depends a little bit on the size. Remove this and then do you if need we to cut it? Yeah, I would cut a little bit. Um, maybe just half. Mm -hmm. Let the blender and take it pretty easily. And for this one, I was thinking to add a little bit of protein powder. Ooh, yeah. Because actually, I have to do some exercise today later okay. on. So same here. <laughs> what do you normally do exercise-wise? Uh, yeah, I go to gym. To the gym? Yeah, I go to gym like. Almost every day if I have time. Almost every day? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad. <laughs> and I, do, I used to do kickboxing a couple of months ago. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but I'm trying to lose some weight and maintain my diet and focus on diet nowadays. So okay. I do like alternated days to the gym. Wow. And do you have to try my best? <laughs> because I eat too much. <laughs> my food is so good. <laughs> but this one. It's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so we have frozen bananas, we have frozen berries, and yeah. strawberries. Yeah, so it was, the only thing we need is a little bit of soy milk. Soy milk, okay. Yeah, and for this one, let's get the protein powder as well. Mm -hmm. There are so many protein powders we can use. I mean, you can use vegan rice protein. Uh, for this time, we're gonna use whey protein, just a basic plain one. Mm -hmm. Because this already has so much flavor. Yeah. I don't think we need like a vanilla or a strawberry or an artificial other flavor. So I'm just gonna use one scoop. Mm -hmm. Protein powder. Right. So how much? 
Um, I would go for around 80 milliliters, so just put it up. I will say stop. Oh, maybe that's easier. <laughs> Yeah? A little bit more? Alright. Yep, perfect. Okay. Yes. So two spoons of yeah. protein. Exactly. So we're gonna do it in the blender. You want me to do it? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the color. Ooh, such a lovely color. I know. It goes with my Valentine's oh. too, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just open it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this in a bowl. Mm -hmm. And because it's your smoothie bowl, you can pick what kind of toppings you want. Alright. Oh. I was thinking we definitely should go for strawberries. Yeah, because it's a very smoothie. So we're gonna try this now. Yeah. yeah. Let's dig in. I really like the color of this one. Like it's so thick. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a little bit lighter because we don't use the canola. Yeah. So if you're curious to come to Urban Press, yeah. a lot of smoothie bowls, then please visit us. I will put as well the location in the description. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, thank yeah. you so thank much, you, Suzanne. For I, yeah, I'm really glad My you came. My pleasure. Always there for food <laughs> <laughs> and camera. <laughs> but this one, um, I'm definitely going to try this at home. And make sure you try it as well. It's quite healthy. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bye, guys. Thank you. No, I'll have, I'll have this one. You're gonna have that one. <laughs> thank you, guys, so much for watching our show on the Hungry Chefs. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And let us know in the description what you would like to see next time. Bye-bye.